That's, is that you trying to call? I hope I'm trying to call. Damn it, man. I was just doing all kind of crazy stuff. I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you say you don't know what's going on. God damn it, man. <laughs> uh, okay, I know it's connected to my um, my five. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, reception sucks over here. Oh, okay, okay. So where where are you? Oh, I'm in ATL right now. Oh, you in Atlanta. Have fun. <laughs> you 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 not at the ATL Petro? No. The a- I ain't feel like going that far. <laughs> the, 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 AT, the ATL Petro over there off of 285, the ATL Petro? No, 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 no. I'm over at the uh, You over at the pot. Well, I, I heard some I heard some things about that too. All right. I was good. I ain't had no trouble. I, I heard some things about uh, I, I heard some things about that pilot too. Shoot, Petro pilot. Shoot, I heard I heard some things about that too, man. All right, so th- so, so thank you for coming on. I, I, how do you want to be? What, what do you want it? How do you pronounce your name? Sid Star, Sinistar? What? Sea I'm sorry. What now? It's like C star, C star. It's a it's it's a play on it's it's a play on sister, right? Yes, absolutely. So sister, but I'm I'm a star, right? So sister. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Then, my daddy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I I got you. I got you, sister. All right. Well, thank you for uh you know coming on and chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, sis star in the building. What's going on with your little lady? Oh, nothing much. Nothing much. All right, all right. So, so, so sis star, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and let people know where you come from? Where do I come from? Um. Okay. Well, uh, I am. Um, I'm not really a newbie. I've been in the game since uh, 2015. Uh, but this is my third stab at it. Um, right now, I am in on the owner operator side mm-hmm. of it. So, um, yeah, we're just navigating my our stuff to that. All right. right so, now. all right. So, where 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 you uh where 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 you out of? Where you born and raised at? Oh, I'm originally from Chicago. Oh, okay. South side. Uh, oh, yeah, the south rough side. Of Chicago. The yeah. rough side. Okay. So yeah, you said ori- yeah. you said originally from Chicago. So where where do you where do you lay your head down at now? Oh, Louisiana, Missouri. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got all the way out of the city. <laughs> All right, so that's what's up, man. So you, uh, so you held in Chicago. What would, uh, was was it because of you know you you wanted to make a better life for your family down in Louisiana, or was it because of all the, all the you know rough you know the rough area where you was at in Chicago that that you know that you decided to move? No, it wasn't none of that. No, no, I'm I'm from Chicago. That that doesn't bother me. It, I mean. It, you know, TV plays it worse than what it is. It's rough sometimes, but it, it ain't like that. It's not like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I left because I got tired of uh, the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was more afraid of the snow. You say they don't call it, the, <laughs> you say they don't call it the Windy Cindy for nothing, huh? Exactly. That's what's exactly. That's what's up, man. Hold on for a second, please. This is not working right. There we go. Um, all right. So again, like I said, they you, they they don't call it the Windy City for nothing. <laughs> okay. So you, you know, decided. Cool when you were younger, but so you decided. That stuff was starting to hurt now. 
So you decide. <laughs> so you decided to pack up and and and, and truckle on down to uh, Louisiana. What what was your what was your thought about when you told your family like, hey, you know, I'm I'm ready to move. I'm ready to make a change, and we are going down to Louisiana. What did they say about that? Oh, they thought I'd be back by now. <laughs> yeah, they thought. I'd be they were like, oh, she'll be back. She ain't going to work. <laughs> he, he said, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we waiting on you. Don't worry about it. You, you'll be right no, back no, in they, Chicago. They're still waiting. <laughs> and you say they still they're waiting. Still waiting. So what you was uh, still so waiting. you, so you got your license back in 2016, right? Uh, well, I've had my license. I got into OTR driving uh, in 2016. Oh, okay. So when did you yeah. get so when did you get your license? Oh, I've had my license since I was twenty one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I you just what was it? Was so you got your you, you got your class A when you was twenty one or you, you, you got your class nah, B? No, I had my class my class B. Yep. I had oh. my class B. Okay. Okay. So what you so before you got your license and you got it at twenty one, so you got it. Relatively, relatively young. How how old are you now? Uh, oh. <laughs> let me re- oh, let, let me let me rephrase the question. How long have you had your <laughs> your CDLs altogether? All together, a whole CDL. Uh, I think I've had like twenty years. Okay, okay. So we'll 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 go off of, we'll go off of that. Uh, what you was the, well. So you 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 got your CDL at the age of twenty one. So what you mm-hmm. so what you was doing prior to getting your CDLs, and why did you wanted to get your CDLs? Um. Well, I used to work for um, the public uh, transportation department. I, I was the um, you know a bus driver. Mm-hmm. I was a bus driver for. For about fifteen years or so. Okay. Okay. So that's so that yeah. was the reason that was the reason why you got your CDLs in the first place is because you you got into and, you got into public transportation. Mm-hmm. So yep. did you did you go to school for the license or did or did the the uh, did uh what what's what's the bus transportation out in Chicago C C T A because ours is R T A. Uh, yeah. Oh, is is I said yeah, it right? Yeah, ours is, uh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't because mm-hmm. ours ours is RTA Regional Transit Authority. Yeah, they got RTA down there also. That's uh, usually one that uh, takes up the uh, suburbs. Okay. That, okay. That, that, uh, yeah, it works out the suburbs in Illinois. Okay, so CTA. So did did you did you go to school or did you did you get your did you get your license through uh, CTA? I, I got it through them. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you know, yeah, they, you know, they're, they're like you know, just like any other big city, they want to train you, there, so they have their own way they want you to learn. So. Okay, so you got so you 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 did what my you you did what my uh my 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 brother in law did. He um he went through he went through RTA to get his uh class B, but when I went to go and get my class A from the from the school that I went to, they they was you know they was doing class B uh training as well, but I think mm-hmm. now. Uh, when I went and talked to them, maybe about a year, maybe about a year, year and a half ago, they they told me that they don't do Class B training no more because you know RTA wanted to uh, you know train them their way. So mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah, so you can get your get your Class Bs if you want to be a bus driver and all like that. You got to get your passengers endorsement too so just to let you guys know mm-hmm. but you was a bus driver for how many years eight how, how many years about 16 all together wow so throughout the 16 years of bus driving man I'm, I'm i'm sure you've seen you've seen a lot and you've seen the changes because you know when i yeah. when when i was when I was young, catching the bus, you know, the buses was like all ugly, dingy, and then 
it migrated, you know, the, migrated into a newer buses. And then now it migrated to like cameras all over the buses and all like that. What was, what was the progression for, for you, uh, during that time? Oh, wow. Um, let me see. Well, I know like the buses that we had when we first started, uh, were way different than, I, they're actually different than the ones that, that I was driving when I left. Mm -hmm. They like, I think now they're all the way total electric, mm. uh, buses now in Chicago. Um, when I left, they were like that, uh, it was a hybrid. Mm -hmm. It was like it used gas, but it also used electric at the same time, but it didn't burn as much diesel. So, um, but now they're totally all the way 100% electric um, buses. And, um, you know, I was there before the cameras. <laughs> they, didn't have, they had the little, the little button that you used to hit. The little the, panic, the, panic the little panic button. <laughs> yeah, the little panic button. Yeah, I, I came in on that era. There was no camera. So, <laughs> So what did, yeah. did did you have to use it? I'm I'm sure you had to use it. You you had to use Absolutely. it. Right? Well, Absolutely. What, what, what was the time? What was the time that you that you had to use the panic button? What's up? Oh, all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, somebody Christmas time people will uh, rob the bus. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm rob, laughing because uh, <laughs> rob um rob the bus. Rob bu Luke. You, people would, people would, busters would come on there and try to rob people on the bus. Yeah, they will rob. They used to rob the whole bus. The whole bus. Everybody was getting the whole bus. So, old boy, old old boy or old girl come up on there and be like, "Yo, run your jewels like that." Yeah, like that. Yeah. Wow. I, I, mean, I was I was a rookie. The mm -hmm. first time it happened. Oh, it happened. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. It happened to you. It, oh, talk. Do tell. Do tell. Yeah. The, uh, the guy had got on the bus. He didn't have any money. Not me. I, I'm not a person that trip on that, you know. Right. I'm not just not going to go there. Um, but uh, he went and, you know, he was like, he didn't have any. So, I, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, but the lady was like, oh, I got money. You know, so she was like trying to help the brother out. Right. And the next thing I know, he was robbing her and yanking her earrings and her purse. And then he went to the next lady and the next lady that he turned around. Wait, 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 how, wait, 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 how, how this man is robbing people? Like what? Do, do he have, do he have his shit on him robbing people or he's just, yeah. oh, no, he had, yeah. he, oh, he had he, oh, he had his shit on him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. basically. So basically what he did was ran through everybody, went out the back door, and that's when you had to pull over and, and get, well, I'm sure you, you drove to a pull safe over. You, what, no, what? No, I, I jumped out the window. No, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> Last thing I heard, stop. I said, my driver just jumped out the window. Hold up, hold <laughs> up right quick, you, you. <laughs> So old boy started. Old boy started. Started. Uh, started. Uh, you know, running the jewels and everything. Yo ass jumped out the window. Yes, I'm not a cop. I'm not there to protect myself. I'm there to drive a bus from point A to point B. That was good. <laughs> uh, you know, I was just like, oh, I'm not equipped with that. Uh, you, like, all, the only thing I had was that time was a whole time. That was not going to do nothing. You yeah, you no. you didn't get in you you didn't get in trouble or nothing like that when you jumped out the window. I mean, the, you know, from you know, they, they, you you left the bus, you abandoned I'm sure the bus. They said something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did say that too. You know, but that wasn't gonna stick. I mean, what was that? What was that? Some, there was nothing more to be done. Somebody sitting there with a gun on your bus. I'm not getting ready to sit. No. I, I hear you. No. So I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I know there are rules and procedures, but I just wasn't that person. If my life was in danger, I just go. I'm out of here. I got you. I'm, I'm not there to talk to you. I'm there to get back home. <laughs>
That's uh, that's what's up, man. You you say fuck this shit. I'm just here to drive this bad boy. Bump that, well, man. I'm just here to drive. Back to fuck, ready to go. I was not here for all of that. You say you, you not. You say you time. not for the business. So what did it? So what was what was the aftermath of that? Did you have to? Did you have to talk to safety know. or did you know what? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had. They went. Uh, supervisor came because I had just on somebody else's bus, and we got up out of there. And mm-hmm. uh, that's when I called them and said, "Like control and all of that stuff." And let them know what was going on. And the supervisor had to come and get me. Wow! Take me back. Wow! Now, yeah. now at that, uh, yeah. now at that time, how how much was it to get on the bus? Oh, it was like two hours, man. Oh, okay. It, it couldn't have been no more. Maybe a dollar and a quarter at that time. Oh, okay, okay. So what? So what routes that you? What, what routes that you? Well, obviously you must have drove some rough routes because you, you know, you you had that yeah, situation. Know, yeah, the rookie. That's all you're gonna drive. <laughs> So coming, on all the rough routes for a while. so coming in as a rookie, you the ones that had to, you know, drive the crazy hours and the and the weekends mm-hmm. and all that bullshit mm-hmm. until yeah. in, 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 until y'all y'all moved up the ranks of seniority. So how long did it take right. you? How long did it take you to move up the ranks to get you know to get the route that you wanted and the and and you know the the time frame that you wanted. Oh, uh, well, I came in a pretty good time. A lot of people were retiring. Uh, so I moved up pretty quickly. Um, let me see. I think maybe, I'm going to say maybe two years. Okay. I was able to, like, not have to work overnight or late night, you know, and I didn't have to work crazy streets or the dangerous streets. And mm-hmm. they were tired of me, to be honest, because, you know, they have a rule there, you know, if, um, you know, well, back then, I don't know, it's probably changed now, but back then, you know, uh, at night, you know, if we felt like threatened, we didn't have, we weren't, we didn't have to pick up that person as long as we felt like our life would be in danger by putting that person on our bus. Right. So when I used to work night, I would be out there almost by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, so they would be like, well, you know, why are you not? picking anybody up and I would be like it was it was your dis- right is it's your discretion and you you felt yeah you know you you felt threatened and you ain't want to yeah you know yeah. overnight you had a panic button and ain't like y'all had cameras and right. shit to see what the fuck's going on you know you get guns pulled on you knives pulled on you yeah you say you ain't yeah you say you ain't got so they hurried up and got off the night. You, you they s- hurried up. You said, uh, you said, you said, ain't you, you said, ain't nobody got no time for that. <laughs> I got no time. <laughs> none. Oh. I'm not having none of it. <laughs> uh, none of s- it. You say none of it. All right. So, uh, so eight, 18 years driving the bus, man. I mean, what, what, what made you go, what, what made you go to get your CDLs? I mean, the, the the upgrade to your I'll class A. Upgrade, upgrade. Um, well, at that time, I was trying to go and drive. They have um, trucks, and um, they also have like um, what do they The money trucks. Um, I can't think of the names. The money trucks, and then they do have like eighteen wheelers there also, flatbeds. So I was gonna go on that side. At first, um, you know, but mm. that didn't pan out. It's just highly political. It's a who you know type of thing. Oh, so okay. I don't know enough of the, the good people to get you know to get those kind of ranks. Get up All in right. there. All so, right. Um, so so. Yeah. So coming over, so coming over from being a bus driver in Chicago, in the in the mean streets of Chicago, you you came over to, you know, you decided to go ahead and you know up your CDLs and get a class A. Did you have to go to school for that, or did you, or did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you had to go, yeah, all, you had to go to school all over school. again for that. Uh, yeah, they made, yeah, they did. Uh, I they, I had the. Classy, but they were they were getting money out of me, so they uh, told me the only way I could do was to start over again. <laughs> wow! And then, so like, did right, you... like right by the end, then that's when I found out. So that I didn't. 
so so was this out of pocket yeah what school you went to what what school where well you already you you already 18 what 18 years in so you are are you still up in chicago or are you down in louisiana now Mm-mm, no, I, was, I got it in Chicago. Oh, okay, okay. So you got it. So what school you went to to get, what, what school you went to to get uh to get upgraded? Oh, I'm sure it's called Sureway. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what yeah. what, what what was it for uh, a four week deal, a two week deal? Because you already basically uh, know you you uh, pretty I, much I knew there. everything. Yeah, I was there. Um, I'm gonna say I was there maybe eight weeks. Eight weeks. Oh, okay. That's about the that's about the average go ahead right there. So mm-hmm. did you did you pay this yeah. so again, did you pay this out of your pocket or was it uh, Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. How how much was it mm-hmm. back then? How much was it back then? Back about five, five thousand. They they ain't give you no deal considering the fact that you already had your class B? No, that's what I said. That's I didn't know that I didn't I had never priced them. One of my friends that went there recommended it, so I just was trusting him. And oh, okay. uh, I didn't know that I was get duped. Yeah, I got duped. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. But All right. cool. I mean, it, he gave me um, a lot of extra, um, you know, range. I did a lot of extra range. It oh. wasn't, I wasn't in class that long because I already knew everything in class. Oh, you okay. Know, so, um, yeah, he just gave me a whole lot more, like, learning how to bag up. And you know, getting out there, learn how to drive a stick. So Stuff how like how was how was how is backing up a tractor trailer different from backing up a bus? It's it's in reverse. Um, we I drove the accordion, the articulator. We call them articulated buses. Oh, okay. Um, they're, so it's in reverse. So like our trailer, the size of the trailer is actually the size of the front of the bus, and mm-hmm. then the size of the cab is side to the back of us. And Damn then it would have the uh it looked like an accordion in the middle. And, right. You know, right. And, I'm I'm familiar yeah. with those. I'm I'm familiar with those buses. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So it's just in reverse. When you was tra- <laughs> when you was training to when you was training to drive those particular type buses, was it difficult in the beginning? No, no, I driving's always been my thing. I don't know. It came to me kinda naturally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So I, now so now you so now you got your CDLs and now you decided to come in and roll with the big dogs. What 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 company did you start it out with? Oh, Suntech. Who? I know. Suntech. Suntex. Mm-hmm. Where are they from? I never heard of them. Florida. Oh, okay, they took you in and trained you and everything. Uh huh. Is they still yeah, in it? I didn't really need a lot of. I didn't need a lot of training. Is they? Is you they? Know, they I, I, I didn't have to go in with a trainer or anything. They just had me, you know, go through some classes, and then they just put me on a truck. Is they still in existence? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you down there, you rocked out with them for a little bit. How how was it rocking out with them before you moved to what you're doing now? Oh, I liked it. Um, I, it was cool. You know, it was more like a family thing. You know, it was more like I had a bunch of uh, daddies and uncles. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they, they looked out after me. So what made you what made you decide to go uh to go on the owner operation side? Is is you doing this out is you doing this out of your own truck or you, you went with a different company to, you know, lease? What's what was your what was your situation from there? Um, well, you know, it's so you know how the leases go. Like some of the leases you think it's your truck, but then you find out it ain't your truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I that's how that went. I thought I was taking my truck with me. <laughs> And um, so no, that didn't work. So I had to end up going to uh, get another truck. So you so, got so this, this time. so you got your own truck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that wasn't gonna happen to me again. Okay, that's that was that's what's up. So you went uh, went and got your own truck. 
said bump it. What would who 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 went with you to put you know to get you know to get the truck that you want? Did you take anybody with you, or you 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 knew uh -uh. what you wanted and you got it? No, I just bought. I just went. And uh, I made, I made, I made some mistakes. You know, my very first truck that I bought on my own, I bought it because it had the moon window. <laughs> it had the window right across the top, so I could see how I could see the stars at night. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was kind of cool. Thought that was the only thing that I required at that time. Mm -hmm. And that truck gave me hell. It gave me hell. <laughs> that truck broke down every damn week. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned that lesson and stopped doing that. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, I let them take that, they took that truck back from me because we got into it about so all the breakdown. Uh, I went out and I got the truck I'm in now. Okay. And uh, I ended up paying this one. Okay. So you, uh, so are, are you running, are you running up, up against, I mean, up under, uh, someone else's authority or you, or do you got your own authority as well? Uh, no, nah, right now I'm, I'm well, I'm, I'm in the process of it. Hopefully, like within a year, I will. Um, I'm still like trying to finish learning the ropes and you know all of this stuff I need in order to, to get out on my own. It's just so much more that they don't tell you. You know, you just think all you got to do is this, this A, B, and C, and D, and then you're good to go. But now nah, there's A, one, two, three, and then there's B, four, five, six. There's a lot of little things in the middle uh, that I'm learning uh, have to be done. So I'm just taking my time. Uh, so that I get it done right, so that I don't I don't want to go out and make those kind of mistakes where they shut down your business and stuff. Is you're not, you know, running right. So what do you so. think? What What do you think the biggest? You know, being a female truck driver is already a stigmatism with you guys as it is. But what do you think the biggest issues for an owner operator, a female owner operator? What do you think the biggest issues for you guys out here? Um, I honestly, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have those kind of issues. I, I mean, I've only been, um, like disrespected by another truck driver once since I've been out here mm -hmm. and yelled at by brokers twice. Pretty much my demeanor, um, I'm pretty easy to get along with, so I don't really like get a lot of problems like that. But, um, what yeah, sometimes it do happen, but. You you said being yelled at at a at a broker. Are you serious? I mean, yeah, that just yeah that just happened recently. But you know, I'm uh, like what, know, I, what, I, what I, would I, he had to, what 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 he yelled at you about? I mean, you he shouldn't be yelling at you. Well, like, you yeah, should know, be yelling I, at I, him pretty much. Well, no, I don't, I don't go around yelling at people. Um, mm -hmm. He was upset. Um, you know how sometimes you do a load. For people mm -hmm. and then they'd be like, Hey, can you do another load? I got the same load, can you do this load again for me? Okay. And I was gonna do the load. It, you know, that was a Friday I was dropping to ask if I could do a, the same load again on a Monday. But he never gave me the load and I waited <laughs> all day. And I never got the rate kind. You know, he never he wasn't in the office. So I went ahead and booked another load and then he called me in the afternoon yelling because I guess he was out of the office and he came in somebody else was on the load and wow. you know he was upset and yeah, he was upset about that wow so much for that yeah <laughs> yeah i know so i was like oh okay <laughs> so are you are are you least where where are you where are you least with a mega carrier or are you least with a smaller outfit uh right now i'm running under my cousin with my cousins and i'm authority Oh, okay. Okay. So you're able so yeah. you're able to go on a load board and and choose your own load through them. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. I do everything on my own. Everything I just like this is my company, I do everything on my own. Now this, insurance, this my own toes, uh huh. All of that. So how how's the family aspect working out? Because you know, a lot of a lot a lot of a lot of families don't work out when it comes to business. So how how's the family aspect working out for you? I, I don't have any problems. Like I said, my, my demeanor is, you know, I'm chill. So, you know, I don't, I don't 
need a lot of, you know, they may give me a little direction, but I'm more of a self learner, mm-hmm. you know, and I just be doing, I just be doing my own thing. Now, if I mess up, you know, they'll be like, hey, you know, next time why don't you try doing it this way, this way, this way, you know, but for the most part, they're letting me, giving me the opportunity to, you know, navigate and learn. You know, I only met, I only like reach out to them if it's something that I, don't know like if I tried anything that I knew how or if I was just trying to clarify was there anything else that I may have missed you know so I'm I'm in a learning that's where my mentality is to sort I'm learning the business of of, of running with your own authority all right that's what's up that's what's up so with 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 that said you you uh you 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 on your journey and you're documenting it on uh TikTok. That's where I found you from. Not a fan of that. Uh-huh. Not a fan of the app. Definitely not a fan Are of you? the app. No, not That's a fan. The only app I'm, I like. I'm I'm not I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of the app, man. I mean, the only reason why I'm on it is, you know, just, you know, just to uh, just to cross promote my uh my YouTube channel. But why did oh. why why did you choose why did you choose to to, to make content for TikTok versus content for YouTube? YouTube, uh, I'm just not, um, YouTube, I'm still trying to navigate it. You have to do a lot of lot more talking on YouTube. Mm-hmm. TikTok, I was only having to come up with one minute content, which is great for me, so I'm still awkward. You know when it comes to like talking mm-hmm. you know, to people, so it works for me to give me get me used to talking. You know, to my phone, so that was weird. You know, sitting there talking to your phone. Now you, and, know, um, you know, you you know, <laughs> lady, ladies, lady truck drivers is. Loaded on that app. I mean, it's like y'all coming out. It's like y'all coming out of the woodwork. I mean, every time, every time I go on my for you page, there's there's a new lady driver. Hey, I just got my CDL. Scroll up. There's another lady driver. Yeah, like, yeah I just got my CDL too. And scroll up. Somebody else. I got mine. I'm like, yo, where are y'all coming from? So that's that's yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of see that too, and um, it's it's you know, it it is a lot of um, a lot of female. You know, with a, with a with a larger platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I just see it. So your comment session, you know, I you know I be peeping out your comment session a lot when you when you be posting your videos, mm-hmm. and you you got some <laughs> you 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 got some butt hurt commenters, man. How how do you handle how do you handle negativity? <laughs> Uh, in 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 your comment session. Um, see, I'm that that stuff like that don't bother me. I'm 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 I've been that child my whole life. So, you know, there's not a lot that people can say that will rub me in a negative note because I've had that training since childhood. You know, so I think that you know, like if you're the kid that got bullied and you were in you know, a toxic environment growing up, toxic neighborhood, you know, toxic relationships. You used to all of that stuff. So people can't get to you like that because your skin is real thick. Well, my I have very thick skin. So, you know, to me, it's funny because it's like, wow, nothing, you had nothing else better to do? That's kind of cute, but okay. <laughs> you know, and that's my first response because it's sort of like I can, it's sort of like I can see that they're just trying to like, get this negative energy out of me. And I'm like, no, nah, you're not getting it. Uh, you're not even worth it. Uh, gotcha. You know, you're just miserable. You can stay there. And that's sort of like my old, the way I go through life. All right, sister. Yes, sir. So what's next for you, man? I mean, what's, what's the, uh, what's, what's the, what's, what's the uh, end goal for you? End goal? Um, well, I wanted to run a couple of months I'm without a truck note, and then I'm going to try to go get some more trucks and go on ahead and finish doing my own authority and get my little tiny fleet. I don't want a big fleet, just a tiny fleet. And let's let's see where that part takes me. 
All right, yeah. all right, all right. Well, Sit Star, you are yeah. a citizen, so thank you very much for coming on and uh, chopping it up with me. You know, the nice little conversation. Oh. I appreciate it. You know, I got to know a little bit more about you and your goals and all like that. And wow, the 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 run up mm-hmm. on the the run up on the uh, on the RTA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a whole gang of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was there was there anybody was was there was there again like I said you know you you had to talk to your supervisor about leaving the bus was was there a write up or anything like that did they write you up for doing that or or they just say well, don't do it again no uh-uh, no I didn't do anything that they wouldn't have done no yeah, yeah. I don't think nobody would have been like no stay on the bus even though he had the gun no. I don't think I don't think that. Broke that up. All right. Well, Back that's. Then. I don't know what they're gonna do now. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what's up, man. Well, thank you very much again for coming on and chopping it up with me, man. You definitely uh, rock out. You got some good content on your uh, on your TikTok. People check her out. Well, she's on TikTok up under Sis Star. It's a play on sister. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what's up, All man. Right. Where uh, where are you at right now? The ATL. That I, I did say that in the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. That, that goes that goes to tell you how my memory is. <laughs> but anyway, you stay <laughs> you stay safe and all like that, and I'll definitely talk back with you. Uh, you know, whenever you get something going on, you got the number. You can always call me up and all like that, and we can uh get at it again. All right. All right, you take it easy and you have fun. All right, you too. All right, now. <laughs>